Jackie Jones. Space Ranger. Space Ranger. Space Ranger. Starring Richard Crane. In Beyond the Curtain of Space. Chapter 2. When we last saw Rocky Jones, he was taking his spaceship to Ophetius to learn if Professor Newton and little Bobby were being held prisoners on that distant planet. Space Station RV-5 to Earth Headquarters, Office of Space Affairs. Station RV-5 to Earth Headquarters, Office of Space Affairs. Secretary Drake speaking. Come in, RV-5. This is Clark, Mr. Secretary. I'm ready with report on flight code name Haystack. Anxious to have it, Clark. Send it over the scrambler. Ready here, sir. Proceed, Clark. A late report on Rocky Jones' mission to Ophesus. That's it, sir. Thanks, Clark. Over and out. Damage to orbit jet repaired on space station. Area thoroughly searched, but no trace of attacking ship nor clue to identity. Who did it, sir? Any idea? Griff, I'd give our claim to Aquarius to find out who it was. A tough order, sir. A sudden attack out of space by an unidentified ship. Could it be space pirates, sir? The blast off from Space Island was successful at 0814. Rocky Jones, Winky, and Vina Ray aboard. In daily communication, Rocky Jones reports flight without incident. Yesterday's message garbled, and now out of contact. Must assume that Rocky is through the curtain and flying in the officious formation. Entered the officious formation. They should be spotting us any minute. Well, then we better be on the alert, Rocky. Right you are, Winky. of your experiment? Oh, well, well uh, I haven't got them yet. Why not? You've had more than enough time. Yes, I know, but uh, 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 activating chemicals and alloys, it's a long and tedious task. Oh, it's like trying to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. But don't worry, Dr. Anto. I'm not one to give up. Professor Newton, you're using the same formula as on Earth? Exactly. Oh, but tomorrow. Tomorrow? And the same material! You were tested, Professor Newton, and I find you won't cooperate. You know what that means! Let go of the meat! Oh, stop it! <laughs> Professor Newton, you've been granted extraordinary privilege. Bobby has been near you and allowed a weekly visit. Proudly, I say, my own son does not know my face, as Bobby will not long remember yours. Joypax! The walk on Bobby de Martantovac. No, I won't go. Professor Newton! Bobby! Get down! De Martantovac! Dark out. Yes, Professor Newton? I pledge my complete cooperation. I thought you'd finally see it my way. Uh, 
How's she going, Rock? Look, Blinky. Ah, the Ephesian beams picked us up, huh? But still no challenge? Not a word. I don't like it. Oh, this is spook land for sure. Troco Vic and Sparkano, Troco Vic. Sparkano uno fian. Oh, that must be their challenge now. Place Ranger Ray, forward, please. Lena. Place late incoming message. Troco Vic and Sparkano. It's a repeat to identify and state destination. Shall I answer an official, sir? No, not yet. Don't know the universal distress signal, Helipso. That's all I want to know at the moment. Helipso! Helipso! Rocky Jones of the airship XV-2 in distress. Helipso! Come in, XV-2, and declare nature of emergency. Starboard control rockets conked out. Request permission to land and repair. Do you know you've transgressed the Ophetian boundary? We could disintegrate you with no questions asked. My apologies. It was unavoidable. I now ask that you recognize Article 7 of our treaty. Rocky Jones? May I speak to someone in authority? I am Cleolata, the suzerain of Ophetius. Yes, I will respect the treaty. You have my permission to land. Ellipse our planet. We will then assign approach path and clearance. Nintendo and Tove. Nintendo and Tove. I guess that means Roger and out. You catch on fast, Winky. It does. Winky, go after to knock out one of the starboard rockets. Do enough damage so we'll have at least a week to find Professor Newton and Bobby while you make repairs. Oh, Rocky, all that work. Couldn't we just pretend? Orders are orders. We've got to stay there a week. Go on now, beat it. Fortunately, Griff prepared us for Rocky Jones' arrival. Now, to prepare Professor Newton and the boy. Sit down, Bobby. Please, Cleolanta. I'd rather stand. Why'd you send for me? I said, sit down. Are you enjoying your visit on Ophetius? It's not a visit. You're keeping us by force. You'll never let us leave. Professor Newton is very valuable to our cause. And you can be too, Bobby, if you study and prepare yourself and cooperate. I don't like what you teach. And if you think you'll ever lick Earth and the United Worlds of the solar system, you've got another thing coming. You may change your mind, Bobby. under our influence. From now on, little Bobby will be cooperative. Now, Professor Newton is next. But Cleolanta, the professor has just pledged his complete cooperation. The work can't continue with the distortion of thoughts. We don't dare risk confusing his brain. That will be my decision, Dargato. Right now, the report Rocky Jones will send back to Earth is more important. XV-2, awaiting further landing instructions. This is Cleolanta, the suzerain of Ophetius. Come in, XV-2, and identify. 
This is Rocky Jones in the XB-2. We have ellipsed your planet. Now request landing instructions. Set controls for free fall. We will bring you in. When you land, I shall personally extend a welcome to Ophetius. Fintendo and Tov. Fintendo and Tov. Set for free fall? What a system. Say, maybe we got our word officious from their name officious, huh? I'm afraid you're right, Mickey. Well, let's take a look before we land, huh? Free fall, sir. Wow! If that's not the biggest building yet, I'll scramble Scorpio. What is it, Vina? An alkali to govern Knox. What's that in English? It means government headquarters. We'll be taken there. I hope we'll come back out. People who've been known not to. I'm anxious to meet this fabulous Rocky Jones. This will be an unexpected pleasure in more ways than one. You and your friends are free to come and go as you wish. See our country, look into corners, search our minds. We have nothing to hide. I only ask for a fair report when you return to Earth. Don't believe a word of it. How long will it take to repair your spaceship? Oh, a week perhaps. We'll do the job as soon as possible. Why not enjoy your stay here, Mr. Jones, and let my technicians do the work? I insist. We can do a much better job, I assure you. Letting the rest of the universe know the truth about Ophetius is difficult, Mr. Jones. People who don't understand us go back with lurid tales, while those that do elect to remain and share our life with us in happiness here. Perhaps you know Professor Newton. I, uh... Why, yes, I do. And his young ward, Bobby? Yes, I know them both very well. Then you must see them. At what? I'd like to, if want. We're proud of our observatory, Rocky. I'll have Professor Newton show you around. The professor likes it here very much, as you know. So now it's Rocky, huh? And he's about to crack out with some kid, Cleo. Oh, he's just playing it her way, stringing her along. Women always fall for that, you know. Professor Newton. Hello? Here are some friends. Hello, Professor. Hi, Professor. Friends? Oh, why, of course, Rocky Jones and Winky. Well, well, this is indeed a pleasure and a surprise. Welcome, welcome to a feast. We'll leave you alone to enjoy the reunion. Oh, but there's no, no reason for you to leave Cleolanta. Why, well, you... This is like old times, isn't it, Rocky, eh? <laughs> Oh, Professor, you remember Vina Ray? Vina Ray? Well, it seems I should. It was during the exchange of scientists back on Earth that you gave me a medal given you by Secretary Drake, remember? I gave you a medal? Yes, don't you remember? Well, perhaps. Oh, but that's of no matter. Rocky, Rocky, isn't this a wonderful country? So exciting, so stimulating. And look, these instruments, things to work with beyond my wildest dreams. And, uh, where's Bobby, Professor? Bobby? Well, why, of course, Bobby. I'll get him. Hey, uh, maybe they got a bug planted in here so they can overhear our conversations. Maybe the professor knows about it and he's putting on an act. Maybe. 
But that look in his eyes. He's not the same, Rocky. I know. Shh. Hi there, Bobby. The Space Ranger service hasn't been the same without you around under our heels. We sure miss you. Nice of you to say that, Winky. Welcome to Ophesis, Rocky. Oh, come on, Bobby. Let's see how much you've grown. You used to come up to here, you know. Hide alone isn't the measurement of a man. Oh, Bobby, do you see any changes? Nothing appreciable. Remember, you were going to captain one just like her when you grew up. And none of that newfangled stuff, boy. She's got to be just like the orbit jet. I'll captain a spaceship someday, and she'll run rings around the orbit jet. Maybe we'll meet up in space against each other. And I'll like that. Bobby. I'd like to go back to the observatory. All right, Bobby. Vina, take Bobby back to the observatory, please. Goodbye, Bobby. Bye. So long, Bobby. Nothing, huh? And I thought going through the orbit jet would bring him back to his senses. Boy, if we could get him back on Earth for a while, they'd come to their senses quick enough. Hey, maybe we could figure out a way to... We go by the rule of freedom and a man's right to make his own decisions. Professor Newton and Bobby want to stay here on Ophetius, so... There's nothing we can do about it. We used to be friends. I'm sorry it's different now. Goodbye, Bobby. Goodbye. Here, I'll help you up the stairs. No! It's cold. It's a prison. Just like the rest of Ophetius. Say that again, Bobby. No, no. I don't know what I'm saying. Vina, I was just on the orbit jet with Rocky, wasn't I? Yes, Bobby, you were. Please, Vina, go get Rocky for me. I want to talk to him right away. Of course, Bobby. Hurry, Vina! I will, Bobby. With your permission, we'd like to blast off at 0300. So soon? Does this mean you don't like it here? I would like to prolong your visit, Rocky. And I would rather you didn't. Hey, Vina. Looking for me? Where's Rocky? I got a call from Cleo Lanner. Uh, what's reverse English for the government building? An alcohol to cover Knox. That's what the man said. That's where Rocky is. Thanks, Winky. Sure. Do I have permission to blast off at 0300? You have no right to detain us, you know. Please, Rocky, sit down. Perhaps you'd rather blast off earlier. 0230, the time you left her. How did you learn that? I also knew of the attack by an unknown spaceship. And a great many other things. Shall I go on? Yes. This is very interesting. Please do. For instance, your mission to bring back Professor Newton and the boy. But they don't want to go back, do they, Rocky? And maybe you won't want to go back either. Any more than they do.
Gargantle, you've got to come with us, Professor. I want to go back. No, I refuse. I refuse to leave Ophetius. This is my adopted land, and I prefer to remain here. He doesn't mean it, Rocky. He doesn't know what he's saying. Oh, Bobby. Please, Rocky, get us off of here right away. You're standing by the spaceship. Now, we've been allowed to come and go as we wish. If we're lucky, we can make it for a fast blast off. No, no. Ah, Daganto, my good friend. Drive action. The professor and Bobby, the condomando. Come along, Bobby. Come along. I've already told them we prefer to remain here. Rocky! Ah. No, I won't go. I want to stay with Rocky. Yes, Dargato? Rocky Jones is trying to force Professor Newton to leave Ophetius. And the boy? He's been... he's been influenced, Cleolanta. Have Rocky Jones step forward. So this is the way you repay the freedom I have granted you. Darganto. Yes, Cleolanta? Bring Rocky Jones to an Alcavar de Governox. It will be his decision to remain on Ophetius. about my flight to Ophetius. Who's your man on Earth? Tell me, who's your spy on our planet? Griff, Griff in the Space Ranger service. Did you say Griff? A couple of space rangers, can you, Bobby? Rocky with the professor and Bobby. It looks like trouble. We better prepare for blast off. On the double, Venus. Secure blast off harness and ascend ladder. Hmm? What was that last thing, Winky? Do what to what? Never mind, I'll get it. Secure for blast off. Rocky, we're blasting off. Passengers are. Rocky Jones, for instance. Griff, traitor, right in headquarters. What are you frowning at, Rocky? Oh, 
talking about, Rocky. You won. The adventure's about over. That's what you think. Just wait and see. Be with us next week, same time, same station, when we again take you into outer space for further adventures with Rocky Jones, Space Ranger.